In Idaho, we're rookies when it comes to diseases in the lawn. Uh, the fact that this is the desert, we have low humidity and hot temperatures in the summertime means that a lot of diseases have trouble getting established. What's changed in the last 10 years is that sprinkler systems allow us to water the lawn a lot and when we have heavy clay soils like we do, that can encourage a shallow root. And that mat of shallow roots combined with regular moisture uh, creates a warm, wet scenario that's perfect to, to uh, encourage uh, fungus issues and, and disease. So in your lawn scenario from lawn disease is less frequent water for longer periods of time so that the surface of the ground dries out in between applications. We recommend that you so that it will dry out during the day and be dry the rest of the day and all night long, meaning that that surface area of that grass, that warm area right there is not moist as well, and that's your best defense. Some universities have done some tests that show that if you have grass roots that are deeper than two inches, your lawn is naturally immune to some of these diseases. Roots of the grass are shallower than two inches or if they're up in a mat, you are in a situation that's ripe for disease. All you need is to have an introduction to that pathogen and off it can go. Now typically we see some lawn disease in a small spot or two. This lawn is a perfect example of when we had a very, very wet May, the temperature came all together with a shallow root system and this blight decimated this lawn. And this homeowner was doing everything else right had good fertilizer program. The good news is this one is coming back. You can see by how green, but still this is gonna be a process. It's gonna take some time to recover. So prevention is the very best thing and it prevents you from having to use too many pesticides. Uh, in this particular case, this is treated with disease control. We're gonna do it again uh, two weeks after the initial uh, treatment with disease control and we're gonna get it to come back. But, uh, but.